Welcome to this puzzle session. Let me describe the problem. So we have a chessboard, 3 cross 3 chessboard, and we have 4 knights on them. Two of them are red and two of them are blue. Okay, so the question is, can one get to this position by using knight moves? So there's a certain way that a knight moves on a chessboard. For instance, this knight can come here in one move or it can come there, right? So can you move these knights in a in the, in the way knights move and get to this position okay so if you try for a little bit you'll see that you know you'll be convinced that that cannot be done but we need a mathematical proof and as usual one is encouraged to pause the video and solve it oneself uh, and now let us move on to the solution so we will need the notion of a graph and out of this chessboard data we will we will get a graphical data which is much more amenable to mathematical discussion so label the cells of the chessboard in this fashion, one up to nine. And all we need to care about is how, you know, uh, we need relationships between which cell to which cell one can go in one night move. So let us, for the moment, forget about the problem. Let us just encode in a graphical way how one can go from one, uh, one cell to another using a night move. So suppose my night was sitting here. When, where can it go in the next move? It can either go to 6 or to 8. So we will join an edge from 1 to 6 and an edge from 1 to 8. Okay. From 8, where can the knight go? Suppose the knight was sitting here. Of course it can go to 1 or it could go to 3. So this is already joined. We, we just need to join this one. Alright. Suppose the knight was here. Then it could, could go to 1 or 7. So we join that. If the knight were at 3, then it could go to 4 or 8. If the knight was at 7, then it could go to 2 or 6. If the knight were at 4, then it could go to 9 or 3. And if the knight were at 9, then it could go to 2 or 4. So basically, this is, you know, if we had a single knight, we know exactly what movements it can make just by looking at this. You start with a knight here and then you could just travel, whatever, just keep traveling along the edges. One cannot jump. So if you want to go from this vertex to that vertex, you could just follow this edge. Or if you want to go from this vertex to that vertex, meaning from this cell to that cell, you could take this path. You could go here, 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 and then here. Meaning you go to 6, 7, 2, and then 9. And indeed, you could go to 6 and then 7 and then 2 to then 9. So this completely captures exactly how one single knight moves. And one can, uh, you know, make it a little, look a little bit better if one just rearranges the vertices. So I have rearranged the vert vertices in this fashion, 1, 6, 7, and so on. So the same graph now looks like this. One becomes attached to 6. I mean, one was attached to 6. It's just that the things now appear in a cyclical way. And 5 is not connected to anything. So in particular, that tells us that one cannot reach 5 no matter what one does. And that is also clear in, you know, just by playing around. So this is, this is a vertex that cannot be reached unless you are already there to start with. I mean, no other vertex can reach here. All right. So now let us recast the problem. What we are given is that we have two red knights sitting on one and seven and two blue knights sitting on three and nine, right? One and seven, three and nine. And the, so this is the starting position. And we want to ask, can we get to the final position which corresponds to this? Red knights are at 1 and 9 and blue knights are at 3 and 7. So can one reach this position via valid moves? And now it is clear that one cannot because this ordering will be preserved. No matter how you move, in, the, in you know, one move you might move it there or you can move it here or you can move here and here. But you see that this ordering will remain preserved no matter what you do. Red, red, blue, blue. And here the ordering is not, uh, that the same ordering does not appear. It's, it's a different ordering. It's red, blue, red, blue. So there is no way to get from here to here uh, unless you break the rules. So that's a very nice and neat solution to a uh, fun problem. And this, uh, I hope this illustrates the, uh, you know, a way of casting things mathematically. How one recasts a problem in using standard mathematical objects uh, leads to solutions. So that is one important part of problem solving as to how you uh, 
understand the problem in terms of standard mathematical objects. And here the object that we used was a graph, which is a fairly natural notion. Alright, so with that I want to end this lecture. As usual, like, comment, share, subscribe. I also have Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.